Mugiol Cha, a high school student, is consistently bullied by a group of delinquents at school. Elsewhere, Mugiol, a mixed martial artist, has been set up to be left paralyzed and meet his demise. Two different lives are at their ends, but somehow they both end up living on in the same body. Will they succeed in finding justice and climb their way back up to achieve their dreams? Well, you can only read this story to find out. If you found this summary interesting or you still want to hear more of my opinions, I welcome you to my first impression and review of the first five chapters of the relatively new webtoon called The Outcast is a Fighter. We are back with another high school bully story. But as you heard, just like always, there is a twist on it. This time we have two people inside the body of one. Who is in control? I don't know. What is their goal? Not entirely sure, but it sounds interesting. The art style feels familiar, but the name of the artist isn't connected to any of the stories I read. But let us talk about a few more important things. Like for example, I left a link to the webtoon in the description for you to check it out first. However, if you still want to hear more details, I hereby give you a small spoiler warning for the first 5 chapters, as we dive right into our first impression of The Outcast is a Fighter. This story did not go the way I expected it to go. Having an overweight main character getting bullied is very common, but how this whole thing plays out was the unexpected part. First of all, we had the classic foreshadowing or basically telling us about the ending or well the upcoming story. Just like when Deku in My Hero Academia says that this is the story of him becoming the number one hero, pretty much saying whatever problem may appear in the story, he is very likely to solve it to earn the number one title and yet. Here in the outcome cast is a fighter just like with my hero, I am not a fan of it. At least for me, it takes out some of the danger you could potentially feel over the course of the story. Because who knows, maybe the author is going for a bad end, but if we get a confirmation like this, yeah there will be no bad end. But back to what's happening right now, and not at the ending of the story. Being bullied into thinking about, let's say, defeating yourself for me to dodge the YouTube overlords is horrible. If you are ever in a position where you think about something like this, please seek out help from a friend or just anyone. That is never the solution. In this story, we got split introductions for both main characters. It somehow felt like something you don't get seen that often, even though I might be completely wrong. Most of the time, the two main characters, if we get a duo, which is also quite rare in my opinion, are together at the start of the story. So this is a bit different. While they say the souls of the two protagonists fused together after both died, and you could certainly look at it like that, in the end it feels more like the mixed martial artist just inherited the memories and the body of the boy who was bullied. As a pro fighter and adult in the body of a high schooler, he just can't take the bully seriously anymore. Personally, I wanted this to be a story where the soul of the martial artist helps the bully kid overcome his life problems and then, I don't know, pass on to the next life afterwards. We would then get a time skip where the bully kid becomes what the martial artist dreamt to become, inheriting both his skills and his dreams so to say. But apparently the bully kid is actually dead? One thing is for sure, this story did not go as I expected it to, and that happened multiple times already. For example, I didn't think that this story would also have a system. The reincarnation part was already fantasy enough for me, and I thought that would be like the gimmick of this webtoon, but gamifying real life is just way too popular to not put it in there as well I guess. However, at least it looks like it's not a system in the way that it boosts the main character and gives him better stats, but just a status screen to keep track of his skills and their level. Despite me saying things didn't go how I wanted them to, it is still interesting to follow the martial artist in this body. It can be seen as a sort of revenge story for both souls, but sadly it is already too late for the original bullied kids to actually experience it. Unless there is a reveal that he is still inside of the mind somehow and not just a martial artist, I, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Okay, this is developing in a way where I think the author wants too much for the story. Now there are also missions. Well, I guess we still have to find out what the points from the missions will be able to be used for, because maybe it is just some sort of high score system and not like increasing stats and all of these things that I thought there were not going to be in the story. Let's continue for a second here. 
Now we get to the small flashback section where the martial artist was set up to be left paralyzed until he died and found himself in the other body. This part could potentially already be the setup for a BBEG, or if you want to call him the final antagonist, that's also okay. The story also brings up an interesting question I would actually like answered from you guys in the comments as well. If you were to be fully paralyzed with no hope of being healed, you can basically only think, what would you want? Continue or let it end? I know that's quite dark to think about, but imagining such a life feels horrible to me. Retrospectively, looking at your own past life and criticizing yourself is kinda cool however. So in that section, the outcast as a fighter takes quite a few points. It will be interesting to see how that will influence its ranking at the end of this video. So stay tuned! Many reincarnated characters have cheat skills to become extremely overpowered. While I think the system wasn't needed, I'm happy to see that this reincarnated power is just being super tough. An ability the main character was lacking in his original body. This is a good power, but it doesn't make him directly overpowered, which would destroy any sense of Asia the story could potentially have. The adult mindset in a high schooler's body is still pretty fun to see. Kids these days will never not be funny to me. Ah uh, yes, we get introduced to our girl, a webtoon story without a potential love interest simply cannot exist. I hate the trope of characters underestimating others. I understand why it happens and it can build up some very rewarding outcomes in terms of satisfaction, but still, I just don't like cocky people. Okay, now let me give you guys a quote straight from this webtoon. A loser outcast finds his awakening and goes on to beat up the bullies in school. It screams online success. I would love it if this is actually the author calling out the companies in real life that they keep on using the same formula over and over and over again, while actually still doing so himself as well. If that is the case, that is quite ironic, but I actually love it. I said it before already, this story really wants to do a lot of things. It almost feels like a lot of ideas from other webtoons I read and also talked about on this channel all meshed together. The big question is, will this work or will it be too much? The fighting sequences flow pretty well. A fact I enjoy is that many webtoons actually have consultants from the fighting scene with real experience to help make it all feel more real. I am not sure if that is the case for this story, but it happens more and more often nowadays, so it might as well be the case. My opinion about this webtoon is shifting like a seesaw. Every time I see a certain thing, I am waiting for an update on the system to see if it will play a bigger role than I am thinking at the moment. Well, just after reading a bit further in the story, I can now say I am not the biggest fan of this specific decision. I really hope that he still had to train to increase his fighting levels and become more proficient in different fighting styles, but the points for missions are basically stat points, as I said before. It does make sense because otherwise he would need many lives to actually become proficient in all the different fighting styles, but I am not that big of a fan in this story that he can now use these mission points to level himself up, and then he just gets the new fighting knowledge without any training, besides doing the missions. The potential love interest, or well, just female character who is with the main character is actually annoying me quite a bit. Her personality doesn't work with the main character and doesn't fit into what the story so far wants to be, at least in my opinion. She almost feels like a plot tool and I hate characters that feel like a plot tool. Let me explain a plot tool, at least my definition. If something happens only to advance the plot, that's a plot tool. Because this girl is not needed, you could do it in a more natural way. For example, I would rather see the main character go jogging and then learn about this important event from like a billboard that he sees than her bringing it up almost randomly. The billboard would kind of feel more natural in a way if you understand what I mean. Not sure how this development will play out, but the protagonist isn't stupid, so he might have it all planned out already. Two big surprises to start rounding up my first impression. It is very surprising to me that the main character has a father. That's so rare in stories, it's almost hilarious. Maybe just as funny as seeing the police actually do something inside of Webtoon. I have never seen that before, I think. However, I am not a fan of skipping over training arts and just getting into the action. In a way, it is almost lazy and takes away from the developments of the main character. Personally, I would have liked us to spend more time with both of the original souls before they fuse together. 
The struggles from the bully kid were solved so fast, making it seem that he only existed as a tool for the martial artist to get that high durability and the system. However, I also have to give some positives. If the reincarnation part was better played out, this would be a really good story. I like focusing more on martial arts competitions and getting rid of corrupt people is always a lot of fun. The protagonist's method of doing things are entertaining, but his personality is a bit bland. As of right now, the side characters are not really fleshed out, but that could change and most importantly, the art style is something many need time to get used to. For me, it always worked, but I heard complaints from other people. Now for the ranking of today's first impression. And while I have my problems with this story, it will still be enjoyed by many and maybe you are one of these people who will really like it. On a scale from F to triple S, I however will give the Outcast as a fighter a B minus. Yes, this may be the lowest ranking yet for this year's stories, but it's still decent enough to give it a try. Who knows, it could also just have a slow start and need more chapters to really get into the flow of a good story. However, that is all for today. For another story, one that I actually highly recommend, you can check out this video. See you over there or in the next video on my channel. Until then, take care. Pyro out. Bye!